All right, so I just worked this whole thing out uh, talking to myself and the camera wasn't on. So I'm a little grumpy, but I'm not going to go back and go through this whole thing again. But I will talk about it. So I showed you the total revenue method. So now I'm going to show you how the midpoint method works. Uh, ignore all this because this is the substituting in that I did uh, while well, apparently no one was watching, including the camera. Um, so this is the formula up here. Remember, quail delicacies over poop, QD over price, percent change in quantity over the percent change in price. If you can remember that, you're in pretty good shape. This long formula, remember, chances are you don't have a calculator on the test. They're probably not going to make you do this here. Uh, if they do, they'll probably give you the percentages, although they don't have to. But remember, if they do make you do this, the numbers have to work out pretty easy and pretty simple. So uh, know how this works more so than knowing uh, and remembering the exact formula. Uh, so I went through, I substituted in, um, and I went from uh, 10 to 8 here, or a price of 10 to 20. And so I took my Q2, I made it 10 minus 8, 10 plus 8, Q2 plus Q1 divided by 2. Uh, this went to 2, 10 plus 8 was 18 divided by 2, 18 divided by 2 was 9, so on the top I got 2 over 9, which comes out pretty close to 0.2, I believe, to repeating. On the bottom, I had P2 minus P1, so if my Q2 was 10, uh, my P2 should be 10 as well. Uh, minus 20 over 10 plus 20 over 2. 30 over 2 gave me 15. 10 minus 20 gave me a negative 10, which you'll notice over here I got rid of because we don't care about the positive or negative sign. We're looking for the absolute value here. Um, and I got 0 0.2 over 0 0.6, which is 0 0.3. Now the question is, what the heck does 0.3 mean? Uh, well, we found out using total revenue method that up top here, is inelastic. Is 0.3, does that mean inelastic? Yeah, it does. Um, and again, think about this like insulin. If the price of insulin changes a whole lot, a big number, what's going to happen to the percent change in the quantity? Not much, because people have to have insulin. If the price goes up a whole lot, they got to buy the same amount. If, they, if the price goes way down, they're still going to buy the same amount of insulin that they always need. So you'll expect a small number on top and a really big one on the bottom, which means it's going to be less than one. And if that is true, it is inelastic. All right, so wasn't exactly how I wanted this to work out, but I hope this helps you out here. Um, if you go down here, you should find that it is bigger than one. If you need a little practice, go ahead and test it out. All right, let me know if you have any questions.